Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video I want to talk about learning the subtraction facts. And I don't advocate just plain drilling, random drilling of subtraction facts, but instead learning them using addition facts. And for that purpose I want to teach children about fact families. And I wrote here fact families for number 8. And to use fact families to learn subtraction facts, the child needs to first learn the connection between addition and subtraction very well. So, to start with, the child needs to learn what subtraction means, it means taking away, and then needs to learn the connection between addition and subtraction. To teach you that part, you can just draw a picture of some objects in two groups, like here, three and five. And then the child has to make an addition from it, like 3 plus 5 equals 8. And then also write, learn to write subtractions from that same picture. So there's 3 and 5. And to write a subtraction, you start with the total 8. 8 and take away this group, 3, leaves 5. Or 8 take away these, the 5, leaves 3. Okay? And then when they have learned to write these kind of additions and subtractions from the same picture, then that, that is the fact family here. Then it's time to learn all the fact families for a certain number, such as 8. And um, in each box here I have one fact family. And uh, the first one has 0 and 8. And then here's 1 and 7. And here's 2 and 6 and so on. But actually there's three numbers connected with each fact family. Because there's 0 and 8 and the total 8. As you can see, each fact in the fact family uses the three numbers. Here's 1, 7 and 8, or 8, 1, 7. In each subtraction or addition, the same three numbers are used. And so then the child will learn to remember those three numbers like a set. 7, 1, 8, they belong together in this fact family. Or 5, 3, 8, they belong together. And then, once they have been working with the fact families and you present to them some random subtraction, such as this, then the student will think through addition and through fact families that, hey, okay, I had a fact family with 2, 5 and 7, so therefore the answer is 2. Or they can think through addition, you know, 5 plus something makes 7, right? So 5 and 2, 5 and 2 makes 7, so the answer is 2. And the same works, same idea works even if you have, you know, the T number here, 13 minus something. They can still learn the fact families for 13 in, a, in the same way. And then think, okay, what numbers was it that make 13? 8 and something makes 13. What fact family was it? 8 and 5 makes 13. Okay? So that's the main basis for learning subtraction facts. But then here I drew a fun little tool that you can also use called number rainbows and this particular rainbow is for 14 and in it if you have two numbers connected with an arc then they add up to 14 1 and 13 makes 14 right 2 plus 12 is 14 each time you know 3 and 11 4 and 10 5 and 9 6 and 8 7 and 7 make 14 and then uh, of course, you want students to actually make the rainbows. Once you show them, how do then let them make the rainbow for 13 and 12 and different numbers? And once it is made, then you can use it to practice subtractions, which start with 14. So the total is 14, and you have 14 minus something uh, that you can practice. 14 minus 5, for example. Find 5 here in the rainbow, and then follow the arc from 5 to this number 9, so the answer is 9. That's how it works. Okay, so this is just a fun tool to be used in connection with the main idea, which is the fact families. And um, that will then help children learn their subtraction facts. And alongside then, after they have learned these things, then, then, then you can also use random drills. Okay, I hope this was helpful.